first autumn vlog of the year. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> How bad is this weather? Let's start off with the weather. <laughs> Let's start off with the weather report. Right, well, I'm in the northwest of England and it's July 2023 and it is raining. <laughs> Like, it's just been raining for days. <laughs> like, it feels like autumn. I'm not going to lie. It really does. It's getting me into the fields ready for autumn. But I feel like I should be doing autumn things because of the weather. Anyway, I've just made myself the biggest cup of coffee. I've got sugar in it. I'm being a really naughty girl. But do you know when they say, <clears throat> feed a cold, starve a fever, well, I just want to know what you do when you have both at the same time. <laughs> well, I think I should start by explaining where I've bloody been. <laughs> Basically, I've been in bed. This is where I've been. There's <laughs> not been much going on. I don't know if you can still hear because I sound like Darth Vader himself. But um, I've been really ill again. I can't believe I've been ill three times in three months in this house. I have had everything under the sun all at once. I got tonsillitis again, so a month later than having it previously. Full on cold in the summer. Also, it's moved down to my chest. So I'm full of a cough as well. Currently, I'm trying to get myself back on my feet slowly. So as you can see from this morning, we've been having really slow mornings. I've just been doing a little priority list in my diary just making sure everything's still ticking over i've been taking ginger turmeric shots and yeah just been looking after myself and sleeping all i've been doing is sleeping trying to sleep it off because you heal the most when you're asleep so that's where i've been <laughs> well let me just take this off my head because it's really annoying i hope you didn't miss me too much but yeah, I needed to take a break. And you know what? I was chatting with Joelle the other day and I was saying, like, I always get, like, deflated this time of year anyway, like, in the creative sense. Like, when it comes to filming videos, like, I just can't be bothered with anything in the summer. Like, I'm just trying to survive. I'm just trying to make it to autumn. Yeah, so what I might do is take off, you know, like, the last month of summer, so August, because to me, the 1st of September is the start of autumn and I know that's not correct on the seasonal calendar but um yeah for me the first of september is autumn so um and i really start to feel it mid it's called something rudinasia it's called i think and it's um the feeling of autumn or the season changing and i get that in like mid august so i'll start to get excited and i start to like i don't know it's like a fire lights inside of me i just become alive come alive come alive oh my favorite flipping film of all time i might watch that this afternoon someone's feeling better <laughs> and also it's really really funny but like when i've took like a week off or a couple of videos off and i've not been filming i feel like i can't vlog i don't know I hope I'm doing all right. I'll have to ease myself back into it slowly. <laughs> so I have got loads of home updates in this video. We're currently, I say we, have not done nothing because <laughs> I've been poorly. Hubby is currently just painting up the ceilings again, <clears throat> making sure that they're like fully coated. Um, then he can put the lights in, the second fix downstairs. It was Amazon Prime Day. Did any of you guys get anything from the sales at Amazon on Prime Day? Yeah, I've had my eye on this like four olive tree and we've been shopping. Every time I've done a shop with me, I've been trying to clock where the olive trees are. I've seen some in HomeSense TK Maxx and they're no cheaper in there. Um, I've been to, I think the cheapest I've seen and the best ones, the real, more realistic looking ones are from Home Bargains and they do two sizes in the four olive trees. And the small one i think is 50 quid and then the larger one is like um i think it's only five foot though you know the large one and i think it's about 99 pound well i've got one in my basket on amazon um and i can't remember how much it were before prime day i can't remember how much i saved because i bought it when i was poorly from my bed i thought i'm not missing up on this opportunity because if it's wrong i'll just send it back do you remember that basket I bought with the um, two handles on it ages ago? Well, it feels like ages ago. <laughs> but they also do a planter like that, a bit of a deep 
planter. Anyway, this olive tree is four foot, so it needs a substantial basket, and I think I know the one I want, and it's from Home Bargains. So we need to nip to Home Bargains and get that. And guess what happened as well? Like, my wipers, of all things to break down, my wipers on my car stopped working when we've had non-stop rain. It's just really eerie that that happened. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, like, of all the things to go wrong, my wipers when it's raining non-stop. And I noticed it like a week ago. And so I think I need to go and get my car seen too because um, obviously that's dangerous. So I'm having to wait until it's like really fine before I drive the car. So we've actually got lights now upstairs in the house. So that's been really nice. I know that some people might think like, but we've been living in this house for three months with no power on, walking around like flipping Florence Nightingale at night trying to go to the toilet. So it's a big deal that <laughs> we've got these lights on and my side lights in my bedroom just look so beautiful. I'll show you them again later if you didn't pick it up from the start of this video, but you know how they've got the fluted glass around the bedside lights that I chose and these ones. Well, when you put them on, oh my God, it's so lovely in the evenings. When you put them on, it creates this luxury pleated effect on the ceiling, absolutely stunning. And yeah, I like totally didn't um, think of anything like that, but cause we're using like the warm bulbs as well. It just looks really like luxurious and golden and pleated. I don't know why I'm like this, but things like this bring me so much joy cramp I've got cramp also on the subject of lights I think I've chosen the light for the landing so when I'm sat in bed and I open hello Ralphie when I'm sat in bed and I open the door there to the landing I can see the light I'll be able to see sorry the landing light the wagon wheel light that I want from vaulted from that ceiling it's really high up there it's just a gorgeous view out of the room to see the staircase and then that vaulted like wagon wheel light. I'll show you what I mean. But yeah, I think I've chosen the light, although they're really bloody expensive. That's why I've been procrastinating it for so long. Hello, my love, hello. You know, when I did the, feels like ages ago now, I did the huge interior home haul and I said at the start of that video um, that I were missing a Shein home parcel. I, I ordered, basically I ordered some stuff from Shein Home and I ordered it accidentally to my old wrong address. Anyway, when I discovered I'd ordered it to the wrong address, it was already out for delivery. So it's with every delivery company and it said that I can't change address, but I can arrange for it to be delivered to the nearest shop so that it didn't go to my old address and it goes to the nearest shop that which is up there which is fine so i thought i'll do that so it did say the parcel might be delayed about 48 hours which were fine um and that was like three days before i filmed that huge interior home haul anyway it's been however long since then excuse me <coughs> <coughs> oh my god i'm so sorry I'm really trying not to cough because I think if you feed into it, it lasts longer. And basically, I've been waiting ever since, which is really, really unusual. So I keep going back to the notification from every saying that your parcel is out for delivery. And you know when you track it and it says out for delivery and then it says delivered? Well, it's still stuck on out for delivery and it's been like over a week now. I've even drove to Tesco thinking maybe they have delivered it, but they're not pressed the button to say it's been delivered, but it's there waiting for me. Anyway, she couldn't find a parcel in my name. She said it's not there. The guy who bought our house, Ash has got his number and yeah, there's no parcel been delivered there. So I'm just still waiting. And I spent about 50 quid. I mean, and I know it's not like a mega amount of money, but you know what I'm like, 50 quid's 50 quid. I don't want to be throwing 50 quid away. It's not even about the money. I really wanted them things. So I'm gonna have to like reorder them and see if the other ones just turn up. I've been onto the Sheen website and it says that if you've got a problem with delivery or your parcel hasn't turned up, take it up with the delivery company, which is Every. Now, if you go to Every, it says if your parcel haven't delivered, get in touch with the person that you bought it off, which is Sheen. So like, they're just passing the book and I can't be bothered with any of that. It needs to be more like simplistic. At the end of the day, you've just got to think what matters. And whilst I've been poorly in bed, literally flu, hot, cold, shivers a lot, 
I've been thinking how blessed I am. I know that's really strange when you're ill. I've been thinking how blessed I am to have this room set up ready and that I'm ill and I'm able to be in comfort. And I don't know, I'm just like grateful for my health. I'm grateful to wake up every day and be able and be fit. What a waffle that was, but I think we're all caught up. So I'm gonna finish this coffee and then we're gonna take it easy, but I'm gonna show you updates in the house. you guys just seen from the previous clips we have been painting and painting and painting so I'm sure you don't want to see a million time lapses of white paint going on the walls but here we are everything's fresh and white almost too white you can't really see the detail in the ceiling and it's such a gloomy day so it's not very well lit up here but I'm gonna try and see if you can see that ceiling detail so we've preserved that we've painted it and we've also now got a ceiling rose up there in the vaulted um, hallway here outside the bedroom door. We've also got a smoke alarm. And we have ordered our new light for this area. So this, what you can see right now, is what I see through my bedroom door whilst I'm sat in my bed if I was to leave the door open. So I've chosen this light specifically. So that's hopefully arriving this week and we'll be able to put it up this week as well. So you'll probably see that going up in the next vlog. Until then, we've got this little hallway landing light up now. Try and get a bit closer so you can see the details. So we went for these lantern style lights. They're in aged brass and they're hanging from a chain. And again, it's a super high landing, so that's why I wanted these like lantern style lights. I just think they look gorgeous in the hallways. So I could have done two in this hallway, to be honest with you. Yeah, now it's up. I could have done with two of these just for visual. Um, and then it like leads you down with the lanterns, leads you down the landing kind of a vibe. Do you know what I mean? That's the view from this side of the house and walking down. So that's all the updates upstairs. Let's go downstairs and I will show you in the snug room. Pop you on a wide lens. We're gonna do a final coat in this room once the panelling has been done. So we're just about, I think, ready for panelling in this room. First fix electrics have been done. They just need the faces of these sockets. Um, and switches to be put on once the final coat has been done. Also, our corbels have been 
sealed, coked and painted in. So they're starting to look like they're part of the room now. Originally they were just stuck there and they still had some gappage in here that needed like sealing in. But I love these corbels, the full plaster. These were from Etsy. Uh, bespoke made and I just feel like they look really really nice so they're on every single arch we've just popped them underneath every single arch I'll link them down below if you like the look of them but if I just bring you down here so you can see that ceiling detail in the hallway it just brings that detail from the ceiling and the cornice down into the room a notch just so it looks like they've always meant to be there hello Ralphie I can see Ralphie peeping. It's Ralphie peeping from the top of the stairs. It's like, where's Wally? Where's Ralphie? Come on down the stairs, Ralphie. Come on down. <laughs> yeah, corbels. So they're now in situ and they're all plastered in. So they look like they've always meant to be here. The ceiling detail in this room is not as grand as the hallway and the other family room, but they're still there. Do you know what I mean? It's still got loads of detail in. It's just a bit more formal in this room. This is the formal room and this is the room we're calling the snug room. We're panelling the same in here as we did in the bedroom. So um, that'll look really nice. It'll change the room, the vibe of the room automatically. Just that panelling makes such a difference, you guys. So fireplace, if you remember, we had the plasterers and they curved my fireplace. So underneath, behind that structure that you're seeing now is actually a really lovely curve. And I was hoping to keep it because this house is so square and tall and masculine. The curves just really balanced everything out a little bit better. However, this fire surround is a period fire surround. And this came out of the family room originally. Now we didn't throw it away because it's just a piece of art in itself really. It's like a vintage piece of furniture. Like literally somebody has made this, carved it back in the day and the detail is just stunning. And we didn't want to get rid of it but we were scared to like keep it because we didn't know how it's going to work in this house. And then after we've done these kind of jobs, then I'll turn my attention to the window treatments, so curtains and blinds. But once fabrics start coming into this room, it'll really start to be homely. Do you know what I found as well in the rest of the house? As soon as the lights, the lights have gone in situ, it starts to look like a proper room or like even though there's nothing on the floors and stuff like that. So yeah, really exciting. So we're on with this now at the moment. Hello, my little puppy dog. So the staircase is an ongoing project. I didn't realize how long it would take me to do, but to be fair, let me pop you on the wide lens again. To be fair, I have been poorly, so I've not been in action at all. And I've realized we chose the off colour from Farrow and Ball. I went for slipper satin. Not sure if we're going to keep that or not. I think we are though. I think it's really nice colour. Really nice off white. I don't know if that's coming up there next to the bright white or not. But we're going to do final coats way, way in the future, you know. So I'm going to paint it up white in its initial coats and then finally we'll do a coat like to finish right at the end because the traffic up and down these stairs I've already noticed it start to get bashed and like um just filthy really so yeah we're still on with that we've also got the light ready to go up here in the hallway so the light you're seeing in the landing the lantern light we've got another one here to hang in front of the front door um, from that ceiling rose. And the reason why I chose that lantern light and not something like massive and spectacular is because I want the focus to be on the front door and the staircase and not be overshadowed by a massive big chandelier up here. To be fair as well, this little hallway is smaller than upstairs in that big vault up there and that's where our big chandelier is going to hang from because it's definitely got the space and the wow factor up there and as you walk up the stairs it's just going to reveal itself to you and give it that wow moment so i can't wait to show you that when that's in situ as well and just like that we have sunshine all of a sudden this evening ash's new tools arrived so we've whipped outside to do some gardening there's been loads of pruning to be done out here. It was just real overgrown mess. 
it's so nice to be outside with just fresh air on my face and smelling all of this garden <laughs> it's so nice after being poor late we're going to wicks as well this evening for a little drive out in a minute as well we're going to go and have a look at some tiles and there's a few bits i want to pick up as well go and see daddy go on go and see him <laughs> There's some stains on your photo They all cracks on your rusty frame Stuck in the mud But it's okay I don't have the pieces of your wasn't I telling you the wipers went on the windscreen on my car whilst it were raining well luckily this morning we've woke up to sunshine and no rain so I could actually get the car to the garage so obviously you can't drive without wipers in the rain so we've took the car to the garage this morning first thing and I thought I would walk home through the woods everybody's got the same idea today as well because we've all been um I think we've all had cabin fever because we've all got the same like um intention this morning there's loads of dog walkers about. So yeah, I thought I would bring you guys along with me here in the woods and get some content. Oh my God as well. It's making me really excited for like all the autumn content to come. So excited. Still standing by your side. You know I'll be right here when all the monsters come. has left her door key on her car keys which are in the garage <laughs> guys i don't even know how i'll get through life sometimes but i'm feeling really happy and grateful because at least we had a gorgeous morning in the outdoors you're wobbling on the table because ralph is on the table he shouldn't be on the table but we're outside in the garden we're waiting for ashley to come home from work and let us in the house <laughs> what a bright spark so I'm just about to have some lunch. He also brought me some salmon sushi. <laughs> you have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be. Who you're gonna be. FYI, I have no business cutting this fringe. But it's so long, you guys. Look how long it is. And I only had it cut. Well, how long ago did I have this cut? Anyway, I'm gonna give it a little trim. A little trim trim. Like I said, I've got no business cutting into this fringe, but we're gonna do it anyway. Snip, snip, snip around. Woohoo! OMG. I hope I haven't butchered it. I have no idea why that washing machine is screaming its head off. I think that'll do guys because we don't want to take we don't want to take too much off of the fringe because it's better to do it little by little isn't it in case we make a mistake and we look like dumb and dumber <laughs> little by little I gave you everything you ever dreamed of I think that is a pretty good fringy fringe so we're gonna wet it and then I'll style it. BRB. Bang, bang into the room. I've used my hot brush, my Revlon hot brush, as you saw in the previous clips, 
to style my fringe and I always style it outwards. Just like I would put my Velcro roller in and leave it in all day, that's how I usually like to style my fringe or my bangs. And yeah, I used the hot brush instead and it's curling it inwards rather than outwards. I like to have it like, I don't know. Anyway, we'll just have to have a faff around week later on because we've got so much to do today to be worrying about the hair and tomorrow I might just chop a little bit more off in the morning. We'll just keep chopping away at it. <laughs> yeah, we've got loads of stuff to do today. So, um, do you know when you're overwhelmed? Because I've been poorly, I know you don't want to keep hearing it, but neither do I, but <clears throat> my to-do list has been piling up and then now it's piled up so much I'm overwhelmed at the amount of things that I need to get through as well as film and things like that and edit and my usual stuff. So um, I'm just chipping away at my little to-do list. I've started on another project as well. We're going to go through to the snug room and I'll show you what I've been up to. Actually, whilst we're passing the front door, I thought I'll give you a quick update of the front door. I have to get really close up for you to see, but that's what that paint stripper has done. And as you can see, it's like, it's almost like latex balloon. But yeah, so we're gonna get the rest of that off later today and we might need to do a second coat. These, so these are rustic scaffold boards. So it's actually a kitchen trend of 2023. And although I don't follow trends, I do agree with top cabinetry in the cupboards you know, like cupboards on the top in the kitchen. They're too bulky, not to mention expensive. So open shelving is a trending option at the moment. Because not only does it cut the cost down of your kitchen so you can spend that money elsewhere. Because, you know, like each carcass unit, they make the money on the units. So if you get a kitchen designer to try and design your kitchen, they're going to pack in as many cupboards and units as possible because that's where they make their money. You can create such a bespoke looking kitchen without them top cabinets. So although we need them at the bottom around the kitchen, we can create the feeling of space by not having cabinets along the top of the kitchen and having like open farmhouse shelves instead. And like I said, I did this with the last kitchen and I just loved how it looked because not only if you like home interior and like styling, having that open shelving, not only does it give you the space, the feeling of space in the room and makes the room look bigger, but you can style these shelves however you want to really, whatever makes you happy, but I'm going to use kitchenware style the shelves along with four plants real plants and other beautiful like shelf style and decor and yeah whilst i know it's not everybody's cup of tea i prefer it this way if you can get a hold of some old scaffolding boards and you don't mind a little like diy project then you're going to save even more money and we're all about saving money in a renovation well i'm all about saving money anyway I've got this metal brush. It's actually called a heavy duty wire brush. And what this does is it doesn't sand the wood down. It actually creates, gets into the grain. So it makes the grain of the wood even heavier for that more of a rustic feel. I'm sure this is used for all sorts of other things as well. Yeah, this brush has actually got into the grain and into all the old paint and whatever else has been like splodged on these boards over the years and so that's my little handy tool that i totally recommend you can pick it up from b q dead cheap and just have it in a little kit i have a little box of things like this this rust oleum and i think i got this from b q as well but you can get it from all sorts of hardware stores and this is the finishing wax this is in white and as you can see, I've whitewashed this bottom one. It's actually blending into the floor. And then I picked up this dark oak stained wax, this Brie wax. I got this from Wix. So as you can see, we've got three boards. The top one here is very dirty. Probably got all sorts on it. Um, that's the longest one. We haven't even touched that one yet. The middle one is how they, these both came to us. 
this colour and they're just really dirty and as you can see there's paint and plaster all over them. You should always work with the grain in a motion like this and it will really show up the grain when you do that. White Rust Oleum Furniture Wax. And then that is what you're seeing. So you just go in with an old rag, you rub on the wax, which is like a whitewash, and then you come back with a fresh, clean rag, and you rub it back off, if you will, and it just creates this whitewash effect into any wood surface that you've got. That is where we're up to, really, and I didn't film that yesterday because my battery died and I was just in the creative flow last night but I just didn't have a camera at hand so that's where we're up to. So for today's task we're going back in with this dark oak and we're going to warm up this wood panel and hopefully get it to a point where it looks like a real oak beam, not beam, what do you call it? A real oak shelf. I love the character in the old scaffolding boards they've just got so much character and grain and yeah really rustic looking so really excited for this project she said i won't be back in a while don't wait already packed her bags call the cab made space and she said i won't answer if you call me when you're lonely i guess i let her go never mind it's too but I can't believe I let you slip. Okay, so we've finished up on the first layer of dark oak on this side of the board. I've left it so you can see that that's the whitewashed side. So you can add more and more of the dark layers if you want to the board until you get your desired look really because that's a little bit too whitewashy for me. But yeah, once you've finished with messing around with the colour and the tone that you desire personally, and then you finish and you're happy with it, you just go in with a wax sealant to seal all the wood, treat the wood and just seal in the coloured wax. And yeah, they're ready to go up. So we just need to find some really nice brackets. Some might say that I'm a loner. But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Hi guys, it is Saturday and Mummy and Daddy are out this evening and I can't wait <laughs> It just feels like forever since we've been out. So tonight we're celebrating Ash's mum's birthday. But yeah, it just feels so good to get away from the renovation for a, for a while, for a little evening out. So that's nice. It's been raining non-stop. I mean, do we even have to say that? I just think if you're from the UK, you just expect rain and you'll be fine. Um, we have been out this morning shopping, a really successful shopping morning. So as you probably saw in the clips, we went to TK Maxx. We also wanted to go around a few more tile shops and have a good look at some tiles. So we're looking for tiles for the fireplace in the snug room downstairs. We'll come back to that another day, uh, probably in the next vlog. So I did pick up a few bits from TK Maxx and I'll have you know, these are actually for my husband. So we both went shopping this morning and I thought, whilst I've got him, with me shopping because he doesn't like shopping like any other man. We'll see if there's anything new in store for him for an outfit for this evening because all of the good stuff is still packed away and to be honest with you, Ash's wardrobe needs the most work when it comes to new things. So it could have done me a couple of things. So I thought, well, while we're there and it were nice and quiet in the store, we'll have a little shop around and I'll get him to try a couple of bits on if he's in the mood, which luckily he were. And oh my God, we found some real bargains and we actually managed to pick up a full outfit for this evening. So that was handy. Guys, you're going to go mad for these, but um, Massimo Dutti, 
chocolate brown it's not coming up a nice color on camera i'm so not impressed with that they look washy on camera but not as washy they're really dark chocolate brown and also why do chocolate brown items because this happens with all the hauls that i do if i pick up anything in this color and i hold it up to the camera it makes me look really really weird watch back to normal hold up the chocolate brown item I look really, really bloody weird. No idea. Anyway, Massimo Dutti, gorgeous pair of jeans. Now these are a slim fit jean, slim fit, 20 quid in TK Maxx. Now my husband is not normally a slim chino, skinny jean type of a guy. He's a really rugged big guy. So I just got him to try them on and Oh my God, he looks Italian in these. I'm gonna try and get him on camera. So I'll try and get him on camera later before we go out. I'm gonna see if I can set up the camera and get a photo together because we've not got many photos together. You won't see Ash and Joelle on my social media either. And the reason for that is they're both just really private people. And I just totally respect that, you know what I mean? Not everyone wants to live their life online or wants the picture taken every two minutes or be on camera. And I totally understand that. So I do respect their privacy. But it goes as far as they never want the picture taken, even as a family. So it's really hard for me to capture them moments but I feel like and I stress this all the time to them I think it's really important that you do isn't it because they're all the memories you've got left anyway really tonal these pair of jeans and he looks absolutely stunning in them so I picked up these for um I wonder if it's got RRP price on no it has a really really in love with them and they had this gorgeous olive color as well but they were too big on his waist I might go back, you know, tomorrow and see if they've got any more hanging around because, you know, like they have a few dotted around in different size groups. Anyway, so that's them. So that's what Ash is wearing this evening. What else did we get? Oh, we needed a new belt. In fact, that was the first thing we saw. He said, oh, I need a new belt. Um, so I was like, oh, he's in the mood to shop. <laughs> it's not normal that he's in the mood to shop. So we picked up this gorgeous tonal it's again chocolate brown, another tone of chocolate brown. This is a Levi's belt. It's just got silver hardware there. And this were about, oh, how much were this? I can't really remember. Let me see if I've got, yes. Two pounds, 15 quid. Accessories, 19.99. I feel like that's the belt. 19.99, hang on a second. <laughs> Accessories and lifestyle. I think that's the belt. $19.99 for the belt, but it's Levi's and just a really good all rounder. So timeless, go with everything type of belt. And then finally for Ash, we picked up this Ralph Lauren neutral polo shirt it's got the tiny tiniest logo on very quiet luxury with the tiny logo my husband doesn't really like loads of like wording and branding on his clothes anyway so this is a nice all-rounder just a normal cotton t-shirt ralph lauren so this was 34.99 which i think is quite pricey for tk maxx but when you think about the brand how much that would be in a ralph lauren store even at the outlet like we've been to cheshire oaks and even in the outlet, everything's like expensive, isn't it? So we got a full on outfit for, I mean, you do the math, £34 for the t-shirt, 20 quid for the belt, 20 quid for the jeans. And they're so beautifully fitted. And everything's like really tonal, really nice colours. So that's what my husband is wearing tonight. And I've also found all of our... Um, bits and bobs you know for the dressing room so I've been unboxing things more downstairs really slowly and I found all our accessories all my sunglasses and things like that anyway I found his little skincare products these were new from Joelle for Father's Day so this is the beard balm and it's got cedar wood and essential oil so he's gonna smell like a dream tonight <laughs> I'm just so excited for him I'm also excited to see him looking a bit more polished <laughs> for an evening at least so yeah i've laid out all these uh, new products out and his new outfit for this evening so he's gonna look absolutely suave tonight that noise that's hubby in the shower <laughs> 
I forgot to show you these. We picked up these. We went into Matalan because he needed some new shoes to go with skinny jeans because you've got to be really careful what shoes you put with skinny jeans and he didn't have any, to be honest with you. He struggles for shoes because he's like massive size 12. And yeah, he just struggles with shoes. He's just not a shoe person. Anyway, I said like them skinny jeans would look really good with a pair of like Chelsea boots. So again, in the tonal colours and these have got a really gorgeous stitching on them. I think they look really, really expensive and they've got like an aged leather look. In fact, they are real leather. So these were from Matalan and they'll do, you know, like for just going out with, if we're going to a restaurant and then you've just got something nice to put on, um, just a great all rounder. And I think we picked these up for like... Well, they were about 20 quid when we got to the till. I think they were meant to be about 30 quid. Yeah, and they were just far cheaper when we got to the till. So he'll be wearing these with his outfit tonight. So I'll pop them here. And then you will have just seen me steaming my dress. So I'm wearing this Zara linen dress this evening. It's got sleeves and I don't know whether to pull out a coat because, but we're only going to a restaurant and coming back. So I don't think I'll need a coat. I've also managed to find my Chloe Woody mules. So I'm gonna just pop them on with this dress. And then, like I said, I found all my accessories. I found my Teddy Blake bag. So I'm going to wear the Teddy Blake this evening as well. A little Teddy Blake handbag to go with everything else. And I'm fresh out the shower. My hair's been washed. I've done my makeup. So I just need to finish off and do my hair. I also need to package up these gifts for Ash's mum's birthday and we're all set to go. I'll try and capture as much as possible tonight, but obviously I get stage fright in front of people and also I've got to respect people's privacy, like I said. Not everyone wants a camera shoved in the face all the time. Oh my God, look at this fringe. Right, I need to do something about this hair. Right away. with a tomb like that then I'll be rather upset then all the rest are quite old fashioned where I had sometimes played chess and when I'm out I'm looking for that vintage fling but all complexions that I adore so hard to find they seem impossible to score so I absolutely perfect setup wouldn't it <laughs> we're not quite finished yet but we'll get there won't we and usually I got into the habit of starting a new vlog on a fresh Monday morning and it, I don't know why but that just really pleased my soul situation I don't know why I'm like that but anyway so I thought we would spend the morning together I ended up not wearing this dress on Saturday night when we went out yeah, I did what I always do really and changed my mind at last minute after I planned my outfit. I do that all the time, it never works out. It was absolutely throwing it down on Saturday. It did not stop. It felt like winter and I just felt a bit silly, you know, in a linen dress and like my Chloe slides. I just felt really, really silly. So yeah, I wore an H&M jumper dress, a coat. I had a coat on, you guys. It's July and I had a coat on. <laughs> And I wore a pair of cream boots as well. And I just felt like a million dollars. Yeah, I either look like a trophy wife or a troll that's demanding riddles from passers-by. There is literally no in-between at the moment. <laughs> so it just felt nice. I tried to get some footage of us in our outfits. Like I said, it's a rare occasion. And then on top of that, nobody likes the photo taken in this house so i've really got to set up a camera and everything and a tripod i need to set the scene and then i need to grab them hopefully they're in the right mood fingers crossed so if you follow me on instagram you will have already seen this reel but i had to post it because this is the situation we find ourselves in marriages that last are a combination of two types of people one person who is boring 
with another person who is crazy. <laughs> Boring and crazy. But yeah, we had the most amazing night nonetheless. Really good company, really good food, went for a meal and had a few too many wines, I think, because I woke up with a little bit of a headache on Sunday morning. We had the most amazing rest on Sunday as well. A Sunday well spent brings the week of content. So this morning, as you saw, I had an eye test. Story time. Me and my best friend, not long ago, we were out for dinner one evening. And you know when it, the sun is just setting outside, like twilight, so you can still see. It's not dark, but it's not actually, the sun hasn't actually set yet. Well, we was walking across the car park back to the car after a wonderful meal and catch up. And as we were walking and talking along um, in the car park, in my vision, I just saw what appeared to be a rat on the floor. Anyway, I nearly jumped into her arms like Scooby flipping do, and she was absolutely in stitches because was it a rat on the floor? Oh no, 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 no. It was, in fact, a big splodge, a big grey splodge of toy Mac. <laughs> And she was like, Susie, you need to go to Specsavers. Um, that is hilarious. And then I didn't dare tell her after this, but after that, a few weeks ago in this house, so you know we're renovating and in the other room under the stairs, in that bit under the stairs, there's loads of like paint, big paint tubs and things stacked up. I know that they're there. They've been there for flipping weeks. They've probably been there since we moved in. I know that they are there. Well, I came down the stairs one morning, right? And I come round the corner where that area is and outside of my, is it you called your preferential vision? Your preferential vision, your side eye. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, outside of my eye, I saw a giant, like literally a giant wolf dog sat in the corner of my stairs and yeah the wolf dog was in fact a stack of paint tubs so them stories are really really funny but this one's not so funny and that's why i went for an eye test this morning so do you know when you're driving down a road and there's like parked cars on either side all the way down and you're driving along in the middle well I'm focusing on the road, but outside of my, in my side visions, I feel like, or it looks like, the parked cars are, are pulling out all the way down the road. So obviously, that is quite dangerous. And the fact that I'm a nervous driver anyway, now these cars that I think are pulling out all the time on me, they're actually not even moving. So like, what's going on in my side vision? So yeah, I went through all the tests this morning with Specsavers. I went to Specsavers. Should have gone to Specsavers. I went to Specsavers and did all the tests. And before the test, obviously told him those stories. That's what's going on with my vision. Now I, I told him the first two stories with the wolf and the rat. I expected him to laugh along with me, like, ha ha. And he just looked at me like, I was like, okay. Anyway, I told him about the seriousness of the car like situation. He said my vision's not that bad actually on the test, um, but he thinks I could like make use of a prescription just for driving, just so things are a little bit more clear. So there were this big wall of like framed glasses and she was trying to get me to have a little look at them. Anyway, the first one she showed me over here, she said, are the like the cheap frames? And they all looked like, there was just like one little section of cheap frames and they looked flipping cheap and all. And I know they're only for driving, but because they're next to all the flipping designer ones, like she goes, oh, these are the cheapest frames, da 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 da. And then these are the designer frames. And they looked so nice. And I just thought, mmm. And the designer frames are like 200 pounds upwards. So I'll be definitely battling with my ego and things like that over the next few weeks, trying to pick a pair of frames. And on my way home, I was thinking, what if I bought a pair of designer frames, say from like Vinted for cheap, will I be able to just have lenses put into frames that I already own? Like, is that a possibility? Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments. Also, we had a phone call from the garage 
and do you know my, my wipers had broken down well i was just thinking maybe it's a sensor that's just unconnected or whatever yeah well the garages rang us up and they basically said that um the leaves because of where we live now and obviously the trees and the leaves all the leaves that are getting trapped in my car in the windscreen have clogged something water has got through and it's ruined it's gone into somewhere it shouldn't have and it's ruined that part which is why it's not detecting and they want 600 flipping quid just to fix wipers i nearly dropped through the floor when ash rang me up because i really begrudge paying so much money for cars you know because it's an Audi and the parts cost more it makes me think you guys i'm not bothered about cars anymore like i used to be really egotistical about what car i drove and i've been thinking that my first two cars were little minis and i absolutely loved both of them they're such reliable cars and they're cheap to run and i'm thinking of going back to something like that you know because i'm just not bothered over cars we've got much more to think about than what car i'm flipping driving and we're trying to build wealth not not like spend it anyway enough of that i'm absolutely starving welcome to the cooking channel i'm gonna try and make a omelette i know that sounds really really silly but every time i attempt to make an omelette it goes like scrambled eggs it doesn't work i don't know what i'm doing wrong anyway i'm going to attempt to make an omelette because eggs and protein and spinach is basically the vibe of today's lunch yeah, I'm on a bit of a diet and I've been learning about glucose spikes. I'll, I'll probably bore you with that in another video if you want to hear it. But yeah, so eggs is my favourite breakfast at the moment. Brunch breakfast. How easy it would be to fall for you. But that of course is something I won't do. Cause we've agreed between you and me We're nothing more than friends How silly it would be to put this friendship to a 